Drop it in there, son. What do you got there, mate? Is that a grapple? Oh, that, yeah, no, it was. It's a limb and torso saver. That's a what? A limb and torso saver. Oh, yeah. You've never heard one? <laughs> like so that. we don't have to go to the water. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, well, we were we throwing the pots out four days ago because we haven't been able to get back in here because of the tide. Um, and because we've been too busy. We've been busy, yeah, true, eh? So now the pots have been pushed. The floats are right across on the other side of the embankment in the deep little channel, but the channel's not big enough to get the tinny up there through at the moment. So we've just made this, um, we just ran a bit of a hunt around on the on the station. We found some old fencing wire. Don't know what gauge it is, but it's fairly heavy duty. And um, this timber here, that's the timber we cut down. We've been cutting that down for the fire. We're not sure exactly what sort of timber it is. I don't know, maybe Jarrah, or you thought, uh, um, what'd you say? Cooktown ironwood maybe. Cooktown ironwood, it is so hard. So, um, and a little bit like that probably weighs about nearly a kilo, to two kilos, like it's crazy. So anyway, so we've just um, thrown that in the middle for a little bit of weight. Little um, eyelet on the bottom here to hook on the hook on the rope down the bottom here like that. And uh, yeah, bit of grey tape around her. That's about as good as the grapple gets out in Cape York. Mm -hmm. So we'll give her a go anyway. Let's see if it works. So talk us through those skinny um, three quarter pants you got there. Oh, I normally sport these on a Sunday. <laughs> Driving my MG <laughs> with one of your hats on. <laughs> Sorry, Will and Bear. <laughs> no, um, look, the the skinny jeans are a good fit for me. I've got no ass and skinny little legs, so they're actually a little bit loose. Is that a wallaby? Yeah, it looks like wallaby. Yeah. Cut I think I'm even starting to talk like that a little bit. Yeah, look like wallaby. Yeah. <laughs> hey. So what we're after. He's just a young fella who will come along with us, do a bit of filming, do all the cooking and washing and just swim out to grab our crab pots each morning. Um, because Dan and I are flat out filming and having fun. Right. He's really the old left over right. Right. Right over left. Oh really? Is that a thing? Yeah. I thought it was just a double granny, mm. but you go, you opposite, you... It's a double granny, I just say it like that, so it sounds that. technical. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll give it to you all. Probably don't need that much, right? Yeah. No. <laughs> it's a bit of a mystery pot, this one. Looks like we've got... We've got some action. I think you've done it. I think we've... Damp just, down. Got to, just got to be able to make sure now the rope. Oh, that's why. Look how far that pot's over, eh? And try now not to get it hooked on. There's a big snag there. Keep an eye on the. Um, yeah, yeah. I got your back, mate. Well, I don't know if you have, really. Is that a tug of war with a crocodile then, or what? I don't know, I think that's, it's that so full of crabs that it's bloody... I've got a funny feeling, that pot... Oh no, oh come on, come on. I've got a funny feeling that, where is that pot? Just belted. Look at that. Oh no. So, crabs have been in there, because they've been in so long, crabs have been in there. Like I said the other day, and look at this here. When they can't find an escape route. Crab will crock it off. No, a crab will do that, eh? Yeah. Crab will literally just cut its way out. I don't want to be dragging back across that. Is it on that side, is it? Yeah, because that rope's going out with the tide. I can't even see the bloody thing. Mm. No, I won't be able to pull anything out of that thing. I'm going to try to drag it out. Alright, so the trouble here 
Dan's put this pot over here under this sort of drop away, the overhang there. And by the look of that rope, I'd say a croc has grabbed the pot and dragged it down under this snag. And if we throw the, the grapple or the leg and torso saver, leg and torso saver uh, over the rope here, pull it in, the pot's going to get caught on this snag and we'll be forever in this river. So what are you going to do, mate? Uh, You're going to do it anyway? Yeah, I'll just have a crack at it. What I normally do. I'll do hey, look at the ocean. It's all sea. No, yeah, no, I normally act first and think later. Oh, that's, yeah. that's my motto. Uh, I'll work it out once I... Like that. But I think if I can drag it, I need to drag it this way anyway. To the... Oh yeah, drag it way down. Yeah. You okay. might get under that snag actually. I'm hoping that I can come through with a bit of pace and if it gets down... I'll... I knew it was going to happen. So this is the thinking stage, yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking that pot's not going to come out. <laughs> oh, imagine if I had another fella here that could help me pull this rope. Mm. Oh no. Not your leg and torso saver. Linen. Okay. Alright, so applications for the young fellow who, who's going to swim out to our pots. You can just send an email to... Dan. Dan. <laughs> Full application would be welcome. <laughs> Gee, I thought I had enough tape around all that, eh? Well, I mean, I wasn't expecting to be yanking that hard. Not yeah, at this time of the do. not this time of the morning. They just don't make grey tape like they used to. They don't. Now, now I'm going to have to use the um, that part of the. Give it a bend. Don't you worry. Right, I like when we come fishing here. You're like, no, it's too too itchy. Let's go. It's not the. Come and grab some old crab pots and here for an hour. It's not, not the first rodeo for this old clown, son. Oh, he's grappled the grapple. He's grappled the grapple. That's all I'm worried about getting back. Really. Oh, that's what's happened, there's been a malfunction. Give it to him. Give it to him. See when. When Dan's hungry. Brute force. All that is, and hmm. I spent all that time making that big, big grapple, and that worked fine. But you never know. Oh, this is this. This is ah, we've got a shark, eh? Oh, no. We've got a dead shark. Oh, he's alive. He's a bath, man. We have him, mate. How has that got in there? So he's... Uh, yeah, whoa. He's alive, get him back in. Yeah, he's alive. So, I don't know, does he look like a little bronzy? I don't know, not sharp. Yeah, I think... Keep back in that edge though, we've got a live creature in the park. He's, he's, um... so. Alright, so we've got a shark, he's still alive in the pot here, and we've got a couple of muddies. That one looks like a buck, but I'm not sure yet. Yeah. But we're going to get the shark back in the water as quick as possible, yeah. and release him. Um, you don't expect to pull up a pot with a shark in it, no. not too often. Not of that size, eh? So anyway, but I'm going to get him back in there. Oh jeez, watch your fingers because he's he's got some teeth that bugger. Unfortunately I'm the cameraman so I can't assist Dan with the shark um, release. Oh, I need you to open that up man. I can get him out. I don't want to don't get your he's like he's got some he's got my knife either. He's he's having a crack himself. Yeah, I reckon he's a little um a little bronzy, eh? Yeah. And watch out because they can, he can, like that, he can come around and bite pretty decently. Anyway, we'll get him, look at that. that yes, good release mate. That's about as good as he gets. Good release. Look at him down, he's out of there. He's anyway. And look what we got. Back to our money pot. 
Let's see what's let's see what we got here if we got any. Oh, that one big bar. Yeah. Big one. bark it is. That's one big bucky. And another big buck. Imagine those other ones. I, I wonder if this fella's legal here. Yeah, he looks a bit smaller there. See like that and then he'll let go because he feels it if you are holding him, he's not um I, I think we'll let him go, eh? I think he's just right on the verge, I'm not sure. This fella is not. I reckon that pot. Bit of distraction from the front and a grab from the back. The old come around from behind like the blue healer. <laughs> Snip. Got him. Good size. That's a nice muddy. You. This guy here is off to fight another day. Yeah. Now we're going to distract him with the GoPro. Oh, he's on to me. He does, doesn't he? So me and Nathan are um, heading in hunting for Wally this morning. We're on a mission. <laughs> We're big time. We're running late. Yeah. The We've got Timmy behind us inside. The boys are leaving at um, 8 o'clock um, from the station here and they're going out on patrol today to just look for people that are hunting in the wrong area on their land. Um, so it's 7.57. So they're normally pretty cruisy with their time schedule, but I reckon today they'll probably be on point and they'll be gone, we'll get there, we'll be like, oh, you're kidding me, yeah. but they can normally be two hours late. <laughs> so yeah, but anyway, that's um, that's what we're heading out today. We're gonna head down to... Um, down the coast. Down the coast. We've been heading up the coast most of the time, haven't we? Yeah. So we're gonna head down with them and uh, they're gonna be in their patrol car and we're just gonna take the 79 dual cab and the tinny behind us. Not sure if we'll get to use it, Tinny, but there's uh, plenty of crabbing to do down there and fishing, land-based fishing, but we'll have a look around. We haven't been down that way yet. No, so, it's a new area. Yep. It's all gated off, we can't get in there, so it's pretty exciting. So that's why we're going to go down with um, Wally and yeah. the, who are the TOs of this land. So, otherwise, yeah, no entry down there. I'm pumped. Yeah, it'd be interesting, eh? <laughs> it's yeah. going to be unreal. Anyway, we'll um, yeah, catch you all down there when we when we get down there. You. Right, you all. Introduce yourself, Bernard. That's Bernard. That's what Wally's brother, younger brother. Welcome he's coming. To, welcome to YouTube. Yeah, he's coming for a ride with us. No, uh, well, he's going to teach us a thing or two today. I reckon. I reckon Wally's going to teach. Well, Wally and probably Bernard teach us how to fish. I'd say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Catch us a mud crab. Yeah. What did you do that? Now you double things. I'm don't you? It's getting old that trick, mate. Driving off of me, eh? Hey? Every time. <laughs> it's getting old. Pretty special with this platform. So that's all the fresh water draining in there, and that's the salt water through here. That's right. So no, that's the all the fresh water. Is that the fresh water coming yeah. through there, mate? Yeah. yeah. And that salt water down here. Yeah. yeah. The big crop in there, little crop up there. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well we've made it into this absolute paradise. 
I'll show you guys around in a minute, but this has got to be one of the most magical spots I reckon I've been to in Cape York. Um, there's islands out the front here, and um, but they're they're um, very culturally significant to to the Lama Lama mob, who, who are the traditional owners of the land we're on here. And um, I don't think we can actually go on there, but we can on Sundays so in a few days' time. Uh, well, our mate, who's the traditional owner of this land, is going to come with us, and we're hoping we can dive for craze around the island. But for now, we're just going to put the tinny into this creek here and um, go for an explore. We're going to camp further down the coast, I think, later on tonight. Actually, probably tomorrow night. Uh, we might have to drive back to our main camp and get Dan's Land Cruiser tonight. So um, let's get this boat in and get things underway. <laughs> Drop it in there, son. Hey, mate. Yeah, I'd be just... What a spot. I think we just found paradise. Look at this. Good. Yeah, that'll do. Plenty of water, no food, they're good to go. Yep, salt panels in the sun. The days are just getting better and better. Have a go at this place, guys. Absolute bloody paradise. We've got Ben here with us. He's a traditional owner of the lands here, part of the Lama Lama mob. And he reckons we're gonna get mud crabs later. We're going to get oysters off these rocks? Probably get out when the tide goes out, eh? Yeah. yeah. So we got the tide coming in now, but I think it maxed out the other day at like 1 o'clock. Low tide. High Sorry. tide. Because remember, we, we were pushing, we had to push up to... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, yep. Yeah. And then it will start rushing back out, so yeah. maybe this afternoon. All right, Look let's get... little right-hand point coming oh, up there. Mate, I saw it like <laughs> I an hour like, ago. Oh, I want to surf that. <laughs> well, mate, you got to look. Look up here. Just there, coming over the log. Oh yeah, I bet. Yeah. The high tide. Yeah. yeah. And Ben's like, look at the croc slide. And I'm thinking, I have, I've come down here and just like, not even looking for croc slides and he's like spotted it out straight away. Yeah. Oh, this system looks different, you know, it's got that milky green water. Anywhere in particular you want to fish mate, or just any, or just anywhere? Anywhere. Yeah, because this all looks good to me. Yeah. Oh, this next little stretch right here looks good. Oh, doesn't it, what? This is like proper jack country, I'd say. You didn't bring the drone. No, I, I yelled out and said, grab the drone. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, I didn't and then you... We're going stealth mode. Yeah. You're good, mate. You just, whatever you... Oh, You're good. What? Deep. Is it deep? Yeah. Good, mate. Pole position. Look at this. Oh, it's slow. It is, eh? Maybe that's the top. Yeah, you wonder where they've come from. Maybe one of the boys have put them in. Yeah. Boy, this little snag on the right looks yeah. good. That looks good, eh? Sticking out. What about up in... I reckon the corner should be a deep corner, eh? Yeah, it's just a shame there's no water moving. Yeah, there's not a huge amount of water yet, is there? Got a uh, 
here. So we've, we've moved on another 10 meters and we're dropping the plonk again. <laughs> this, is, this is what happens. But it does look pretty nice. Look at that snag out there, out on there, up there. One of the boys are throwing the pots out here. Tell you what, after fishing Massey Creek yesterday and that action we had, I don't think anything's going to compare to that. This is a slow day. We won't say that yet though. It did, it did start slow yesterday, didn't it? Yep. Ooh. Concentration. Concentration. Oh. Is he in this Mate. Moment? That's it. Surely. I was right on the snag there. Local knowledge. We're on the move. We're on the move. Alright, Pete's coming up. Plonky donk. Look at that. For a backdrop. Oh, there's a good advertising mercury. Look at that. There you go. You want something like that? Don't even have to look after the mercury motors. They start first pool coming in dust. Yeah. We don't even want a new one. Ours have been serviced now. We're like, it's so yeah. good. Yeah, we don't need it. Alright. Then you're on Croc Watch. Croc. The master Croc spotter. A bit of shade through yeah. here. I'll try to get on half shade, half light, like I do on the drone. This would be perfect little... Okay. That's everyone down the, over the top of this. Uh, you're doing it. One job today. That's what I said. I yelled out, I said, get the drone. And you're like... Ignored you. Okay. Yeah. Had your grandpa ears on. Why are you always filming me? Because... <laughs> you do the most stupid stuff. <laughs> There's no fishing happening, so I'm waiting for something else to happen. Wish we had the sound of cranking, but we don't. Yeah, we've got to charge that battery. Oh, here I am, sorry. I'm on the back of the camera today. I'm still here. We'll have to make an, we'll have to make like an episode thing where it says dance back. Because you're, you're gone from the last series. Yeah. Season. Yeah. Oh, we'll just get all the viewers back, that's all. <laughs> Oh, it's just starting to grow since you've been. <laughs> That's it. I had to invite you while I had <laughs> Oh, God. What a setup. I set myself right up. <laughs> That's true. I thought of crabs. Crabs? Yeah. You on? Yeah, back up. Hang on. Here you go. Little John. Little Codley. Little Codley. Hang on, you gotta film this. Yeah. Benny got the first fish. First fish. I'm dancing real. Ah. <laughs> Good job, Benny. Benny. Good job, mate. First. Whoa. On? Is that just a rollover? Yeah, over? First fish of the day. Nice work, mate. You can see it. Rock bar. Boom. So far, not so good. We pushed about, I don't know, maybe halfway up this, this creek, and um, we're in a nice big deep bend here right now. Bernard here, we're calling him Benny. He just caught the first fish of the day. Well, there's a bit of moving water here. It's yeah. just like a rock bar or something. Um, first fish of the day on Dan's brand new reel. Dan hasn't caught a fish on it yet, but it was just a little cod, so. Um, sort, of, sort of bloke I am, eh? He's a good guy. Sort of like I am. He, com he complained about it though. Oh, it's too small, put it back. Yeah. But um, yeah, hope hopefully when this tide starts moving, it's all going to turn on, and I reckon it will. There's a bit of structure under us here. Yeah, it must be something. There's a bit of water. We're going to have a cast of that. That looks amazing. Stay away from that little bit. Have a flick, boys. No water moving, but. No. Besides, bear wave coming through. Oh, nice.
love it. Just slow, slow, slow. Motor in here, Benny, or should we stay out? Pardon? Are you allowed to come in here? Probably not. We might just stop right here, right? Eh? Yeah. In the shade. Oh, that's nice there. Eh? Wow. It's, it's so different by boat. What a spot. It's a pretty cool little waterfall, isn't it? I wonder if it's home to any bad wind. I thought some like I reckon there'd be once that really starts powering out, the Queenies and Prevalley be I wonder if they'd be sitting out there even barrow feed and stuff coming out, eh? Maybe. I don't know, it's it's fun trying to think that you know yeah. what goes on, but you don't sometimes. Probably never really. We pushed right up to the um, to the top of the creek, up to where the fresh water meets the salt, and there's a big rock bar up there. Absolutely amazing, um, but the tide still wasn't moving. It's dead still in the river, so we've just come out to the now. Super shallow, um, but still no movement. So I'm pretty sure we're going to chase muddies, are we? I reckon that's the plan. We're going to fix them here. Benny's pretty keen to chase some muddies. You reckon that's the spot in there, Ben, under those cliffs? Yeah. yeah. Have a look. Sounds good. We hook them, eh? We we'll have yeah. to make a hook. There was a spear up there, someone left a spear here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll grab that. Yeah, that's right, yeah. yeah. That looked like a good spear, eh? Yeah. All right. Looks like Dan and I are in for a lesson. Oh. Yeah. good is this? Even if we don't get lunch, it's just amazing being here. It's so special. Probably not. You probably don't get to come down all the time, do you? Yeah. I was thinking this tide would fill in. We'd be able to fish these mangroves here for Barramundi. But, I don't know. It looks like we've got a bit of a... It looks like the tide's running out, but it's dead still. Maybe this is last night's tide up here? Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah that rush, quick rush in one. Yeah. What do you think, Benny? Too far up in there? Yeah, too far. Okay. Probably I'll deal with the rock stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah? So, Benny here is telling us that further down the beach, there's a hut. An old hut and a bit of a creek with Jack and Barra in there. So, Dan and I are thinking we'll, grab, we'll go back, back up north to where we had that main camp grab the other Land Cruiser and come back down here for a few nights. Here we go, this is the hunting grounds for muddies. Here's a little one. A little one in there. Yeah. Too small. Alright, change of plans. 
We can't find any muddies here. But look how good it looks. Look at this. Oh, I love hunting for muddies and this kind of stuff. Um, yeah, change of plans. It looks like we're going to push down the coast now to the um, to that hut. Check out the creek down there, see if we can't find lunch. Because uh, the tide's just, it's not moving here. The fishing's really slow. So um, that's the plan. There's something real spiritual about places like this. Particularly when you're with the traditional custodians roaming around. We're bloody lucky to be here, that's for sure. No lunch for us. No crabs. We've got other spots to check though, but um, nice running low on fuel. We've got to get back to Camp Wasabi. Do you reckon anyone's ever done lettuce wraps? No. Just lettuce and. Let's not make that our thing either. Lettuce and kewpie sauce. No, we don't even have lettuce. Oh, okay. What about kewpie sauce wrap? Yeah, we got that. That's gonna have to do. Uh, cool. Yeah. What you got there, boy? Oh, really? That's what I was chasing the queenie. Dart. That's a dart, is it? That's a trevally. I was going to say, do you get, get dart here? Yeah, you get on the Yeah. That's how it starts, eh? One, coming through like that. Yeah. It's not a bad size. It comes through hard, too. Little grunter. I always do, eh? Little grunter. Yeah. On a soft vibe. Little semi hard atomic soft vibe, I think they're called. Yeah. That's a nice little. They've, they've got a nice action through the water, eh? Yeah. I've got the um other one on. Little Trevally. <laughs> Nothing, eh? I can't believe how quiet it is. Like, normally you would get something.
the buck. It's a boy. Good one, mate. Did you spot Benny? Yeah, it's Claude. It's Claude, did you? It's those young eyes. I reckon, huh? You got some eyes, mate. Yeah, I'll just release them because I look like that sandwich. Yeah. 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 Check one two 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 <laughs> two 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 one. All right, guys. Well, we're back at camp, back at the main camp where the Land Cruisers are. Today was a, a different kind of day for us, but um, and it was amazing. Hey, we saw some beautiful country, didn't we? To get into that country yeah. was pretty crazy. Yeah. Hey, it was really special. But like we said, we didn't know what we, what to expect, and uh, we still don't know what we're going to release what we could film, it was very, um, there was a bit of uncertainty there, but we met some of like we met um, Benny, um, well his brother, he was a little legend, so I'm sure you'll see him on YouTube. Um, He's pretty cool to be on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, he was, he was a good kid. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we don't know what we're going to release, but this is going to be the end of it. This is going to be the end of the episode. We're going to do a cook up. We ended up, um, yeah, at this beautiful spot and we're out in the mud flats and we found some real like rocky outcrops and we were chasing mud crabs and um, Ben ended up getting us onto one and we dug it out and I'm sure you just saw that and he's right here in front of us now so um, which is really cool hey yeah it's, so it's all traditional land that we're on yeah. today so yeah it's like to be with a, tra a traditional custodian and, and chase this mud crab right here um, is really cool but we didn't catch many fish. It was a, it was a slow fishing day. No. And if it was you and me out there, we wouldn't have spotted it. No, he, no. The, the, the amount of stuff that he would spot today, yeah. his eyes are that good looking. Dingoes, croc oh. slides, crocodiles. Mate. And mud, he's mud crabs. He yeah. even said to me with this one, he, I saw him playing around under this rock and so I walked over and he said, yeah, in here, in here. And he's like, so I squatted down to have a look. I couldn't see him. I was like, really mate, you sure? And um, sure enough, yeah, he was in there. So, um, just for a young fella, but yeah, anyway, yeah, all good. But that's what Dan and I are really intrigued about. There's so much learning. Like he's 17 years old, and he's got they, they just take in so much knowledge mm. as they as they get older, which is really cool to be passed down. And what I found when he walked down to the water, he's he's quiet. He's quiet. He's scanning everything yeah. before he gets. To, so he's assessing the situation. Yeah. But when he's once he's done that, then he's good. He's in there yeah. fishing, and yeah. where I'm just I just walk down and go woof. <laughs> Gold bomber out there, let's go have a crack. But yeah. no, nah, he was like, yeah. Yeah. So, which is really good. It's great to learn that for us to learn that, isn't it? Yeah. From them, yeah. So yeah. that's just what it's all about. Just to slow down. Yeah. That's key for yeah. safety, for everything. Um, all right, but tonight. How are you going to do it? Yeah, we're going to cook. Tell me how you going to cook. We're going to cook this buck here. How are you going to cook my claws? Uh, here you go, ladies and gentlemen. This is a buck. There you go. Boys and girls, all you young fellas out there, this here is a buck. The, uh, the Jennies, the females, have a much. A much, um, thought there was another buck underneath it. A much, what do they call it? Wider flange or something like Flat, that? Yeah. Flat, yeah. Yep. Um, but this one's a buck. Uh, we're going to cook him in the Osbro. Right. Here you go. We're going to do him in here. The beauty of the Osbro, you've got these different levels here at the front. So this thing that goes on top, we'll jam it in. Um, we might cook the muddy for a little bit longer than all the veggies. We're going to do eggplant, uh, some corn. I haven't done. I, I'm properly. just wondering, can, should we snap those claws off and lay them flat down in there? So everything's going to push down flat? 
Oh no. Yeah. Can we, can we roll them over? Do I ever come into Dan's cooking segments and just sorry mate? <laughs> give Stand my back. suggestions. Stand no, back. come on, come on in here. Come back. <laughs> Alright, so then you jam these in, I reckon in the second slot there. No, nope, third one. I was gonna say you push that shell here. And then this back thing, this slide goes over the top. We've probably showed you this already. Harry, ha is it Harry from four to four? Yeah, he got us on it. He, he's he's a legend of cooking yeah, on this thing, eh? He is, yeah, he is. Hundred percent. Have you done a muddy yet, Harry? Yeah, I'm sure you have. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he would have. All right, so we're going to throw this on the fire here. We'll take the camera over, and then we're going to come back and chop uh, the eggplant and all, and all that up, and throw that in. I don't know, in about ten minutes. So um. My cameraman here is going to grab the camera. All right, hang on, two secs. So the Osbri, you can cook on it so many different ways, and this is the beauty of it. We haven't done it this way yet, but I think it's going to be perfect for a muddy and what, what we're doing. It gives it a real smoked effect, so the Osbri, you can hook over these, these hooks on the front here and cook it like this. You can also take it off, open the, um, the stand up, and slot these in in three different levels. But I think... Tonight, Mr. Mud Crab. I reckon that's going to be smoky, crabby goodness. So we'll leave that. We'll go up here, chop up the veggies, and then we'll take this off, throw the veggies in, uh, a bit of salt and pepper, maybe a bit of butter, and um, and we'll be on. Let's do it, mate. Are we on? We're on. We're on. Check, check, one, All two. Right. Let's do some veggies. Um, before we get into the veggies, We've got everything charging in here, which I keep saying, but it's so exciting, this trip, to come back to camp. The laptop's charging, all the GoPro batteries are charging, the inverter's on, the battery's still on 96%, like, the fridge is on minus 10 or minus 9. Dan's a bit envious because he's having some battery issues, so we need to get oh. Battery World Noosa onto Dan's ute next. But, alright, let's do veggies. Um, broccoli, I haven't done broccoli in Osbro yet, but we're going to do some broccoli. I don't like broccoli. Don't you? No. Anyway, that's right. Let's see what I've got to put up with that here. Anything else you don't you want to spring on me? Midway through a cooking segment? <laughs> no, that's fine, mate. I'll shut up. I'll be, I'll be <laughs> behind the scenes here. Cameraman's not meant to talk, is he, really? Oh, looks like Dan's already cut these ones up. Yep. A few yes. um, eggplant I prepared earlier. <laughs> prepared earlier? Yeah. Okay, carrots. This is how you chop carrots, guys. Now, you guys don't need to see this, but. Maybe Dan can come around here and tell a funny story or something. Or uh, I don't do comedy. I'm pressure's on. I'm pressure's gonna, on. I don't do comedy I'm straight sit, up. I'm going to sit back. And... All right. There's this bloke once, right? <laughs> oh, I'm not going to start. Oh, I, that one thing I can't do is tell jokes. I'm not good at telling jokes. You tell jokes all day. Yeah, I know. But yeah, when you when you're put on the spot, you just got to wing that sort of stuff. All right. What else are we doing? Bit of zucchini. Um, last time we did eggplant. Just What's egg going on with the end of that? Oh, it's had freezer burn. Mm. Chop that bit off. Yep. Um, last time we did the Osbury, well not last time, but a few times back, we did eggplant and zucchini. You worked that over there? And this is the best thing about a bush kitchen. Everything is just over the shoulder unless it's plastic mm. or, you know, got to go in the bin. Barra fillets. Barra fillets over the shoulder. Zucchini over, over the, the shoulder. Head. So, um, and it just comes out creamy and amazing. The Osbry just does, just works magic. We've done, we've been there, done this, tried it. Yeah. That time, you, the first time you in, introduced me to the Osbry, yeah. I was in love. Yeah. Straight up. Yeah. And then when you cooked on it with the tuna and these veggies, my God. It's such a good little tool, guys. Yeah. It really is. Yep. We don't get it for free. We paid for it. So, yep. there's no product placement going on there. All right, and a it's, bit of corn. It makes it ease. Because I reckon you can put everything in. You can put like it's, you can see mm. it cooking. That's mm. the, I think that's the biggest thing. You can actually see what's cooking and yeah. seeing how it's going while you're cooking it, yeah. especially with your veggies. You're not burning them. Yeah. And and same with a camp oven. You got to lift the lid and bloody do and all that, that scenario. And heat out and do all that. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is just on the fire. We cut these in half. Probably going to have to. I think. Yeah. Good luck cutting corn. Mate, it's Japanese steel. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, that's right, isn't it? Good luck cutting corn. Yeah. Old corn cutter from way back, mate. That'll be enough, eh? Yeah, that's old, oh, mate. I don't even eat that much veggies in a week. <laughs> I feel like I need some veggies. Yeah, I do It'll too, be like Just like fish, crab, yeah. fish, crab. But eating fish is good it compared is. to eating yeah. red meat. Yeah. I'm enjoying that. 
Let's see how crabs look in there. Yep. Let's go check it. All right, this is a good sign. Obviously, if you if, if you guys have eaten crab before, as soon as it's going pinky orange like that, it's ready. But you can see the top half here isn't. I might drop it down a little bit lower. Show us how you're going to maneuver that in position. I'm going to show you a welder's glove. Yep. Get yourself a welder's glove for working around fires. All right. Yep. Let's take it off. Throw the veggies on and we'll put it back on. It's actually not pink. It's actually orange. You said pink. Yeah, if you're colour blind. Yeah, oh. All right, have a go at that. He's nearly ready. So we're going to throw the veggies in. Now, again, this is the first time we've done a mud crab on the Osbury, so we're just winging it here. Just load it all up. If, if, I don't if know how we're going to eat all this. I was going to say, if you've seen our channel, most things are winged. Yeah. Pretty much everything we do is winged. We're winging it. Every little now, mission, every mission we do is a winged mission. You know what I like to do? Butter. Is melt the butter and then drizzle it over the veggies. But tonight, is that still hot? No. Alright, tonight we're just going to cut it up into little bits. Each veggie, put a bit on there. Salt and pepper. I would, I would call that three veggies and meat. Me too. That's old school. It is old school. And just see. Oh my god. That's a smorgasbord. Isn't it? Check that out. Alright, bit of salt. A few mozzies. Now, as we cook this, I'll probably drop some more butter on there. Um, but for now, where's, where's the top? Cameraman's just trying to get rid of mozzies at the same time. Cameraman shouldn't be talking. Sorry. They should be just on the camera. Well, I've got that problem. Did, yeah. I, did I say all this out aloud? Yeah. I didn't realise. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Look at this. <laughs> love, your, love your charging setup once again. Do you? Yeah, it's, it's awesome. I just it's neat and tidy, yeah. I just explained all that. I'm going to get a wobbly camera situation here because I've got itch. Yeah, you, there we go. Because you're talking. No. <laughs> I've got bloody mozzies hanging off me like there's no tomorrow. Alright, let's throw this back on the fire, eh? Look at that. What a feast. We should have had Wally and the boys down here. Yeah, yeah. they would have loved this, eh? Yeah. Alright, yeah. as you can see, we've rearranged the Osbry and we're going to go in on ooh, second level, I reckon. Maybe no, uh, yeah, top I level. I was say, too low. Let's go top level, the penthouse. Just to give the veggies a good chance to cook before the crab's done. So give it a bit of time, I don't know, maybe five to ten minutes, we'll flip it over, just get the other side cooked, cover it in salt and a bit more butter. We're good to go. We're gonna go a claw each. Oh! Dan doesn't mind fingers either, so just chuck everything on. Bit of corn, bit of John Butler. So what's just happened? We've just had music playing in the background. YouTube does not like John Butler. Well, it doesn't like us using John Butler. So I'm gonna do a replay here. We got some eggplant. We got some corn. A shit. Um, claw each. Technical fault. Sorry. There you oh, go. Come on, mate. Mm. Bloody hell! It's hard to get good help out here in the middle of bloody nowhere. Stage four lighting. <laughs> Zucchini. Dan loves when I use fingers. Uh, it's all a bit of payback from that time that he was fingering the. Um, okay, the, mate. The, was, <laughs> the relish. Don't, don't, you don't need to take a lot of time to describe that. It was, the relish. Rel it was relish on the <laughs> Renlock. He was fingering the. Uh, 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 <laughs> all right. Any, anyway. Um, no animals have been harmed in this episode. What else do you want, mate? <laughs> we'll come back for the rest of the crab, but I reckon that's a bit of everything. Yeah, I'm happy with um, that. Do you want a bit of relish? Talking about relish. Yes, please. I can yeah. I can grab that for you, mate, if you like. <laughs> no, no. I'll, I'll control the relish. We've got a bit of eggplant here. Ah, a bit of um, butter. A little bit of butter on the veggies. And I mean, this is about as fresh as it gets. This crab we caught. It was a typical wild reaches, bloody. It was dying minutes of, of the sunlight, dying minutes of the day there, and. Um, and we managed to get a, or well, Benny managed to spot a, a mud crab. So, we're not gonna go hungry tonight. We're gonna eat like kings. Yeah, super fresh. That'll do, I reckon. Do you want salt and pepper on yours, cameraman? Cameraman's not allowed to talk. <laughs> okay, good boy. Yep. All right, guys, that's it. And that's it for another episode. Um, Dan and I are gonna dig into this now. 
sit around the fire under the Milky Way and um, just take it all in and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Anyway, that can go now because I've probably got one of them though. Don't look at me to hold that slobbery thing. That mouthpiece will come in handy. Wonder who's using that next? <laughs> you. <laughs> Few tubes. Do mm. that. Right.
kids. Mm. Yeah.